back to anything and all thing with Miss Marie. And yes, that's me. Y'all know this channel be all over the place. Sometimes I'm here, sometimes I'm not. But I am here today on October 21st, Monday morning. New week, new challenges, new dreams, new hope, all that good stuff. And of course, it is Motivational Monday. This week, I have a Pinterest inspired outfit week. So, I will be showing you um, my outfit that I was inspired by Pinterest that I recreated from my closet. I'm about to make me some um, tea and take my medicine and then I'm going to show you this outfit and give you the motivational quote of the day. So just give me like five minutes and let me get this all started and then I will show you this um, Pinterest inspired outfit that I created from my closet. You all know I'm shopping my closet because when I do go out thrifting or something, I'd be like, I don't need anything. What is stuff in your closet? I'll get rid of it, you know. And then I'm really still trying to figure out, you know, my style. Is it chic? Is it boho? Is it classy? Even though when I take those, um, what's your style test, it always come up to be like classy. Classy, chic, classy, elegant, classy. And I'm sitting here like, I don't even think I dress like that. But I do know that's the way I want to dress. But anyway, let me get my um, tea together. Let me take my medicine. And I will come back and show you this outfit I created from my closet by an Inspire outfit from Pinterest. Okay, this is the outfit that I created from my closet by being inspired by this one from Pinterest. So it's simple, y'all know. I don't like a lot of stuff, so I like for my stuff to be straight to the point, right? So it's just this black um, button-down shirt, and y'all know 95% of my stuff is thrifted, so don't come for me. That's who I am, and I'd have no problem with that. You should check it out, too. But I have on this black button-down, button-up, which one you want to call. Of course, it looked just like the one she have on, and I put on these um, jeans. They fit in flare. They have wasted and they come out flare. So this is the simple outfit that I was inspired by this one from Pinterest. And I just have on some open toe shoes. You all, I know it's time for closed toe shoes, but I'm telling you, every time I think about a closed toe shoe, my feet start hurting. I'm just being honest. So this is the outfit. Those are shoes and my accessories just consist of these um, hoop earrings with the cross on them. Do not have on a necklace because these buttons are overpowering. I did put on some rings. Do not look at my nails. I took them off because, you know, in two weeks my birthday is coming. So I was like, let me give my nails a break until then. And so here are the rings that I put on. Um, Timu. Well, I think I found this one. Timu and my son class ring. Got on my watch that I got from TikTok. Don't like it, but I still wear it. Ponytail holder, and I did put on some bracelet that have like this little blue on it. So anyway, this is the outfit for Motivational Monday that I created from my closet by being inspired by this one from Pinterest. I really want to tuck this in, but I'm like, let me see something. But I'm just thinking, let me see. Wait, 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 let's get it. Okay, that could, that could work. That could work and make it more cleaner. I don't know. I don't think I really like the one tuck. I don't think I really like it, but, you know, it's 7.50. I got to be at work at 8 o'clock, so we're just going to try to roll with it. Let me look at it more time. Ooh. Not feeling this zipper either because it's exposed. Like this, not laying flat. Okay, you are. And are out. I don't know, but this is the outfit. I don't know if I should tuck it in, tuck it out. I'm gonna continue to play with it for a few minutes, but I gotta get out of here. Oh, one more thing. Let me give you the motivational quote of the day, and we're gonna get out of here. Okay. I'm trying not to be so close to you all right now. But anyway, I'm trying to figure this thing out. So let me give you the motivational quote of the day for October, what, 21st? Quote in a, in a vase. Like I said, every morning I grab one out of here and try to take it to work so I can motivate my students, motivate myself and motivate my students. But we're going to pull one out today to give to you all. 
you know, my YouTube family. And remember, this is Anything and All Things with Miss Marie. I'm going to give you some anything or everything all over the place, okay? But anyway, quote of the day. Let's read it. Hope it inspires us, you are. I hope it give us that, uh, that say, okay, we can make this week, and this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to say. This is how we're going to be. And this is what we're going to give. So let's see what God is saying to us through this quote of the day for Motivational Monday. Okay. Light tomorrow with today. You all know what this means. Whatever choices you make, whatever decision you make, whatever you say and do today is going to affect tomorrow. So be careful of what you say. Be smart about what you say. And make sure what you say and what you do today is going to make it better for tomorrow. Because whatever happened today will affect tomorrow. We're not going to worry about tomorrow, but be careful of what's around you and the things that you do. So make great decisions today, trust in God, and do what you need to do for him so your tomorrow can be brighter and brighter. Love you guys, have a good day. You are my God. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Tuesday, you all. Today is October 22nd and it is Tell the Truth Tuesday. But anyway, I got praise and worship going down the hall. It is 7.35. I'm so excited that I'm up and dressed. You know I was inspired by Pinterest to create this outfit, and I love it because it was simple, quick, and, and I think it's cute. You may not think it's cute, but it's cute for me and who I am, and that's why I'm dressed at 7.35. Therefore, I can make me some quick breakfast. Um, So I got this oatmeal that I got from Kroger's because, you know, in the second half of your life, you need to um, put more things in your body that you didn't put in when you was younger and to be honest i still don't put in my body but i need to i really need to because things are starting to change and things are starting to happen and look don't judge me because when you get to that point you will understand what i'm saying but anyway i got this oatmeal from kroger and it is raisin apples and walnut with high fiber you all it is so good but anyway i just wanted to come in and say good morning happy tell the truth tuesday and maybe i can get to work on time we're gonna try but anyway let me fix this oatmeal and then i will come back and show you this outfit that i was inspired by pinterest to recreate from my closet you all i have said this so many times before that I do everything really, really fast. And truly, honestly, I'm about to cry about this because I really need to learn how to slow down. I talk fast, I walk fast, I do everything fast. And it's like, why? I'm on God time despite how fast I do it. But I really, really do want to slow down. And I don't want him to slow me down in a way where I can't do anything. So I need to find me some ways to like, just take it one second at a time instead of like rushing 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 i need to learn how to talk slow because i talk fast i know y'all understand everything i say sometimes and that's why i be fumbling over words that's why i be having run-on sentences because i just talk so so fast i gotta get that together but anyway the water is boiling for the oatmeal and um i'm mixing it i'm mixing i'm mixing the see i'm all over the place I'm mixing the raisin apple walnut with maple brown sugar. I need all the fiber in my body. You are my favorite worship song, song is on. So I'm gonna have to listen to this and then I'm gonna come back. I'm sorry. Okay, you all. This is the outfit that I was inspired by to create this one from my closet. What she have on is black and white. I have on blue and white. So I just have on this blue and white striped sweater and I just paired it with these blue like polyester pants they ankle length and I just got on some brown flats and um I, my accessories just consist of this cross necklace that I got from Big Turner you can barely see it um my gold earrings that I got from Walmart and I did put on this ring from Timu so this is why I was dressed at 7 30 you all this was the most easiest comfortable outfit that I was inspired by Pinterest right here to create like oh my god and I feel really really good and I feel really comfortable and I really like my hair in this style like you know going back like this I really prefer it in the middle but got some work to be done there you know but anyway happy tell the truth Tuesday thank you so much so let me get myself together I wanted to try to be at work on time I gotta get my 
and they're gonna work and watch too. So let me get my watch, let me grab my food, let me get in the cars. Let me see, can I make it to work at eight o'clock, okay? All right, see y'all later. Okay, y'all, this is a lot of oatmeal. <laughs> when I say a lot of oatmeal, that's a lot of oatmeal, like, Oh my God, but I need it. I'm not even gonna lie, I need it. But I'm back because I'm gonna tell you my truth why my car warm up for a split second. Yeah, my car's so loud. It is what it is as long as I got my baby. My baby loved me and I love her. But anyway, my truth is this right here. This is Tell the Truth Tuesday, October 22nd. And I'm about to give you my truth. It's my truth now. Like I said, you can always leave me your truth. I would love to hear it. But the truth is for me that I want to say being single, but I'm not going to use single. Being alone is is not a bad thing. It's really can, It really can be fun. It can be exciting because you can do what you want to do. You can go where you want to go. You can eat what you want to You can do anything you want to do. And when I say being alone, that means, you know, no children in the house, no man, nothing to care about but yourself. It can be really, really fun if you make the best of it. But you all, my truth is, I feel like it's better when it's two. I mean, the whole scripture says, which I will leave it right here, you know. So my truth is you all, I don't have a problem being alone, but some days I get so, so sad and so, so lonely. And, and the biggest thing is, I can be around a whole lot of people. That's my loneliest time. Like my loneliest time is when I'm around a whole lot of people enjoying myself because the fact popped in my pops in my head that I'm going home to nobody, no children, no family, no man, no nothing. And I get really, really lonely because the thought in my head is you're going home alone. So with that being said, my tell the truth is I don't have a problem being alone. It's, it's a great thing because I'm learning myself and growing closer to God. But you all, I get so lonely. But that is my Tell the Truth Tuesday. I'm about to try to eat some of this oatmeal. Oh my God, you all. So much oatmeal. But anyway, love you guys. I will see you later. If not later, you know I'll see you tomorrow with my outfit of the day. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Woman Crush Wednesday. You all know I'm here to show you this outfit that I was inspired by Pinterest. And this is the outfit that I was inspired by. Yes, it looks so much like a summer spring outfit, but it's okay. Sometimes colors make you more happier. Um, and so this color got me feeling like really excited today but this is the outfit that i was inspired by so i went in my closet and i shopped and i found some items that were similar so it's just this blue and white um striped linen like shirt yes this is a spring summer top it's linen it's light blue and white stripe it's like a beach it, it makes you think of the beach and i paired it with these red pants and i just have on some brown shoes i really need to find me some shoes you all for the fall and winter but this is the outfit that i recreated from my closet don't judge me for my summer outfit i feel good and you know that's all i can say <laughs> I mean, maybe i can get to work at eight o'clock once again today like i said shopping my closet this week has been kind of easy Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Thankful Thursday. And you know I'm here to show you my outfit that I was inspired by Pinterest to shop my closet. So this is the outfit that I was inspired by. And these are the items that I got out of my closet, you all. Um, like I said, the outfits that I was inspired by this week was like really easy. You know, where I can be ready at 7.30. But I just have on these brown pants this brown fitted tee and um i just put on some sound android watch i have on these earrings they some hoop with some rhinestone diamond rhinestone do not have on a watch i do have on my ponytail holder but this is the outfit that i created from my closet from this one but i'm not gonna wear it just like this because y'all know i'll be cold in my office so i do have a blue jean jacket so i will be wearing a blue jean jacket with it so this is the way i will be wearing it but i know i don't have to say this because you all have heard this if you watch me you heard this but if you knew you probably haven't heard me say this which i hope you are new and if you are new don't forget to subscribe 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 and leave me a comment but like i said when you shop in your closet 
you are finding items that are similar to the outfit that inspire you and you created creating it for you in the way you like to wear it but this is my outfit for thankful thursday and i hope that you have a wonderful thankful thursday and i do have a couple dollar tree items i want to show you all yeah, I know I love Dollar 25 stores, so when I see new stuff in there that I think is new for me, I want to come show it to you all just in case you all want to try it. So later on, I will show y'all those items. Since it's Thankful Thursday, I'm going to give you a quote of the day. We're going to pull it out the jar, and I pray that it's something that's going to fulfill me, fulfill you, and something that I can carry to my students so they can be fulfilled as well. So whatever pull out this jar, it is God's words to us, Okay. So let's do it. Okay, so here's the here is the vase. I've been saying a jar, but this is not a jar. This is a vase. But anyway, we're gonna do we're gonna do this today. We're gonna shake it, shake it, and we're gonna grab it, grab it, and we're gonna read a quote of the day. One fell out, so I think that is the one that God wants us to hear today. Put that back and grab this one off. And grab this one off the floor. So okay, let's see what God's telling us today. Okay, so quote of the day for October 24th thankful thursday is we must be willing to let go of the life we planned so as to have the life that is waiting for us you are is i think it's okay to make plans to set goals but you have to remember your life is already destined the way god wanted to be thank you so much like i said if you're new please subscribe if you owe share with a friend leave me a comment whatever whatever you do make sure you hit the thumbs up like this help a girl out help a girl out to keep moving on this youtube journey love you guys so much i will see you later with those dollar 25 items have a blessed thankful thursday okay you all i'm off work and i promised you all i was going to show y'all some dollar 25 store items that i purchased it is um 456 i was going to run to bath and body works because they have their their body spray on sale for 550 y'all know i love to get them when they're on sale but um I changed my mind so i'm here to show you all these items from dollar 25 store okay you all i gotta do something in this room this is really my affirmation room you see the affirmation on the wall even though i really want to take that down and redo it i think i said that last time but it's so funny that i walked in here and it looked like those things on the wall was cricket and i'm saying like nobody really be in here why would they be cricket strange strange thing happened but before i get started with the dollar 25 store item i just gotta say this i really um respect and praise the people who do youtube as a full-time job that you actually get paid to do this every day and all day because i really don't see how you all do it like you wake up recording yourself and you go to bed recording yourself i honor you you are amazing. I just want you to know that. But anyway, jumping into the dollar twenty-five item, I'm going to start with this, this bar, body butter. I don't know if you can see it up close. If this one is candy apple, I have already used it, but it looks like this. Can you see it? Yes. Which is mean. It's like really, really thick. It's not like some body butter stuff you get. It's kind of thin, and it's just I don't know. But this one is like thick. Like and it smells like candy apple. So I picked that up for $125. And I really do like it. Maybe you should try it. Okay. The next item I got was some collagen nourishing moisturizer for your face. I don't know if y'all can see this. Hold up. I got it the wrong way. Okay. I wanted me some moisturizer for my face. I'm trying to get a face routine going. Like I have one, but I'm trying to get it in the correct order. Like, like cleanse, sermon, moisturizer, sunscreen. So what I said I was going to do is cleanse, sermon, moisturizer. That's going to be mine. So I was looking for me a moisturizer and this moisturizer is kind of like anti-aging. Not saying that I'm having probably problem getting older but you know you still want to look as young and fresh as long as you can with the age that you are you know so pick that up and i saw this it's green tea soothing cleansing milk it's a face wash that you used and it's supposed to help moisturize and cleanse your face it's when i read the back of it the direction it was like to remove makeup and stuff 
I do wear a little concealer sometime. I haven't worn it in a couple days because I just haven't been feeling like putting it on. So I do wear a little concealer and I do wear mascara. So I picked this up for to clean my face. And I said if it get the makeup off, it would get the dirt and oil off too. So I picked this up. I hope you can see it there. And it's like, it's like a cream base. It's milk. It's like milk. So, and it smells pretty good. And it's green tea. And you all know, I love me a good green tea or anything. So I got a face cleanser. And I already have the sermon, even though I need to re-up on it. And I have a moisturizer. And I do have a cream too. So I'm like trying to figure out how to cream it. So the night routine would go cleanse, toner, sermon, and night cream. That would at nighttime. In the morning time, it will go cleanse, sermon, and moisturizer. So, of course, I saw this lip plumper. It's Ring Master Lip Plumper from the Dollar 25 store. This light, I got this light. Y'all know this light from TikTok that everybody saying you should get and lighten up. I got it because I thought it would help lighten up a little more in this room, but it's just blinding me to be honest. But, and I can't even show you the products good. But anyway, so I picked up this lip plumper. It says the color is red cocoa, and we're just gonna try it on. You saw the container. This is really a cutesy little packaging, but this is the way it look. It's Ayani, and it's like a cocoa red, and it's a lip plumper. So let's just try it on to see what it look like and how I feel on my lip. So this is the way it look. The color of it is pretty. It just like this so let me just try it on for you right quick we're gonna do it right here oh the color pretty good you all i think if i had a lip liner on with it which i'm still trying to work out the lip liner thing you all i'm really trying to just you know create a new version of me some kind of way I do have a mirror over in the corner, but like I said, my light in this room is horrible. But this is the plumper. I really do think it's a pretty color, but I think if I had a lip liner to outline it, it'd probably be even better. I kind of like it. Okay, let me go get something to wipe this off because I have another one. You are, and this feel really good. Like, I can feel like the menthol kind of thing i'm just saying menthol it's not stinging or anything but it's kind of like if you put a menthol in your mouth how you have that soothing feeling this is what this feeling like on my lip it's not stinging so but i wonder is it gonna pump my lip up you know for some reason i think my lips are already pretty pretty plumped they're not big plump but they are pretty plump so anyway, let me go get some tissue to wipe this off so I can show you the next one. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. I did have this Essence Dark Brown Lip Liner. And I put some on my lips because I want to see what this stuff look like with a lip liner. So we're going to just try it one time with this lip liner, okay? What I should have did was got a mirror so I can see it up close. That did a little different. Um, I don't know. I feel like it did give it a little dimension to the lip area, so it didn't just just didn't look blah. But I don't know. I really do like this red cocoa. I like that on my lip. Oh my god. But anyway, just want to see the difference. Do y'all see the difference? Tell me if you see the difference. If you don't, tell me that too, so I can try again. Okay. Okay, the last item that I got from Dollar Twenty Five store is this lip oil. It's some vitamin E and rich, hydrating, sheer color, lightweight, comfortable lip oil. Now this packaging is really cute as well. You all, now this is so cute. This this little container that it's in is really really cute, and it says lip oil. But this is really cute. So. And this is the way the thing look. 
You guys see it? Okay, let's see what it looks like. The biggest thing is you are. Um, okay. It feels really good on my lip. I'm not. It feels like my Essence lip oil, but it's the difference between this lip oil and the Essence lip oil that I be wearing is that the Essence lip oil is a little thicker, and I like a thick lip oil because to me, lip oil, I think it's just for prettiness. It don't really do anything for your lips. It just make your lips shine and it feel real slick on your lip. So, I like a thick lip oil, which I really do like the Essence lip oil. Let's just try a little more right quick. Oh my God, you are, I can see. It's shiny, but sitting back here, I think I can kind of see like the little red tint a little bit. I do like the feel of it. It feel really slick on my lip. It got my lips looking really, really cute. I love the container of it, the lip, the, the clear bottle with the pink top, and then the lip oil is kind of like a pinkish red inside of that. Right now, I will buy this again, but I'm about to wash this stuff all off because I'm about to take a shower. I'm hot, got the fan on, but I'm hot in this room, and I'm, I'm ready to relax. I'm ready to just relax my mind and my body. Okay, those was the item that I purchased from a dollar twenty-five store. I am truly thankful that God woke me up and given and given me the opportunity to make a video to give y'all some inspiration. I hope you all like my outfit of the week that it was inspired by Pinterest. But anyway, thank you so so much for just watching me you know i'm not a professional like i said i do this as a hobby but i love talking i love to bring you all joy and all that stuff but anyway you all have a great thankful thursday night yes i talk with my hand and i will see you tomorrow with my outfit of the day on fantastic friday love you all so much peace out good morning good morning good morning Happy Fantastic Friday, and you know I'm here just to show you this outfit that I created from my closet by being inspired by this Pinterest look right here. So anyway, I have on these jeans that I thrifted, and I put on this white HBCU shirt that my friend made for me, and I threw on this black blazer, and this blazer came from Rainbow Closet. I had it for a thousand years. Haven't even been born a thousand years, but you all know what I mean. And um, I have on some ankle strap sandals with the little block here you all for some reason these are my like favorite shoes and i guess because they got a small heel and the toe is out you know every time i think about clothes or shoes my feet start swelling and my accessory just consists of the um amazon watch did i get it from amazon i don't know where i got this watch from amazon yeah i think it came from. amazon watch which i do not like no, I didn't. I got it from um, Timu. Timu watch, which I do not like because it says just like the active two. But no, no, don't buy it. Well, I'm going to say this. It didn't work for me. Do what you want to do. I have on my sun class ring. Do not look at my nails. And I have on my birthstone ring. And I have on these earrings that I thrifted from Harvest or so. I did plan some makeup this morning. I put on that um, lip plumper, that cocoa, that red cocoa. Um, I think it's it's kind of it's cute to me. It's kind of dark, but it works for me. And I did put on the chocolate brown lip liner. I don't know if you can really tell. I'm I'm really new at this makeup thing, and I'm not trying to wear like a full face. But I love to see people in makeup, so I'm just trying to enhance, you know, my look just a little bit. I did put on my concealer this morning. I'm not for sure if you can tell. You all would have saw my eyes before this. We would have said like, girl. Do something. So I do put on concealer to try to cover my dark circles because some morning they are darker than others. And I did put on some mascara. So the thing that I probably would wear is mascara, concealer, and some lip gloss, lip plumper, lip oil. And if they have a color, I would love to try it. So that is what I have on my face this morning. I have my hair pulled back. Um, I supposed to hang out with my sister tomorrow. We was going to do something tonight, but she has something to do with her mother. So we may go to brunch tomorrow. And we also have a Halloween party tomorrow night. 
It might just be us three, but they said we're two or three together. Let the party happen. They don't say that, but you know what I mean. <laughs> but this is the outfit that I created for my closet that I was inspired by Pinterest by this one. Like I said, shop your closet, wear your clothes, you buy them, wear them. So anyway, it's Fantastic Friday. I am going to give you a quote of the day so it can help you through your weekend. And I hope it help all of us. So let's jump into that. Of course, you know I had to sit for this one because I have to reach over and grab the vase with the quotes in it. Whatever I pull out of here, it's gonna be the words from God that's going to inspire us, encourage us, motivate us to keep moving in the right direction that he have us in so let's jump in and see what god's going what god sends us today and i'm just gonna you know start. there go again like yesterday you all it just fell out i was stirring it up and it just fell out so this is the word that god wants to meditate on today that will carry us into the weekend so quote of the day for fantastic friday and today is october 25th 2024 so let's read it your big opportunity may be right where you are now. So, you know, we're so busy looking for what, what we can get tomorrow, looking for what our five-year plan is and all this. And the thing is, opportunities are right there in front of you. And we can't even see them because we're so focused on what, what how are we going to get this? Where are we going to go? It's just we focus on the future so much that we miss the opportunities that's right in front of us at the present moment. Or either we're looking back back and saying like oh we didn't do this and we're not even seeing what's right in front of us quote of the day are your opportunity can be right in front of you you just got to open your eyes you got to you got to see through god eyes you got to hear through god ears so you can see exactly what he has for you so make sure you meditate on this and listen and look so you can see your opportunities right in front of you. And they may not be no big bang. They might be a little crack in a door. But if you see a crack in a door, that means open it. Go in. You know? Anyway, you all have a fantastic Friday. I hope you enjoyed my outfit of the week. I don't think I'm coming back later. So if I don't, I'm just going to say thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Share with a friend. Hit the thumbs up leave me a comment. I really do appreciate you. Love you. Have a great weekend. Be blessed.